Hello, my loves. Welcome to another Sunset Podcast. Um, really happy to be talking to you. Hope you're doing great. So today I'm going to address a common thread on Reddit. I had to print it out. Obviously, I'm using the phone. So I'm not going to read all through it, a little bit maybe. But I felt like this comment thread or and other threads like it, both on Reddit and some of the... Um, dance forums have been going on for years you know some years like five or six years and some more than that actually so i felt like it would be impolite for me not to respond to some of this given that it seems to me that people have you know genuine concerns and so i'm just gonna touch on a few of the high points So obviously it begins with Misty. That's where this really got going. So let me just refresh. Misty and I met on Twitter when she was getting kind of bullied, really, kind of bullied and maligned and just being treated so poorly. So I actually stepped in on Twitter just to to defend her. I think they were criticizing her for not being able to do foite turns or, or something silly like that. And I just simply stepped in and said, look, she didn't train herself. She's not coaching herself. So, you know, give her a break. And then, you know, she responded in a little bit, little disagreement. And then, you know, whatever, some months later, she emailed me and asked if I would be willing to coach her. And then we emailed for another few months. And then she invited me to meet her out in California. I met her and the rest is history. And she danced brilliantly. You know, this is... I'm referring to the wolf trap performance of Swan Lake. So that's that story in a nutshell. And that's that. In terms, so the the criticism has been that we recorded our work together. Of course, she agreed to that, right? She's a sophisticated person. She's in the media. She understands everything. She, of course, agreed to that, okay? And agreed that I would use the recordings how I want. And I think we've used them very well. Um, She doesn't, not only does she not look bad in them, she is setting a great example for young dancers by practicing the fundamentals. That's what we did. We worked on the fundamentals and then choreography. And I think she's setting a great example by doing that. There's nothing that makes her look bad at all. That's my opinion anyway. Okay, so on from that, we get to a place of, uh, oh, some concern. So people acknowledge the validity of my work, of the method that I teach. Some don't. But there's always this caveat that, well, you know, what he says makes some sense, but I don't like his personality. So that's fair. Not everybody's going to. It's okay. My work isn't just for people who like me. I like to be liked. It's It feels good to be liked. But it's not necessary for you and them, whoever, to benefit from the work itself. So, there's that. Now, and the last point here is, is there's been ongoing calls for me to be canceled. Cancel them, cancel them, cancel them. So let, for those folks who would like me canceled, let me give you something to rejoice over. I was canceled, like really significantly canceled five years ago or so. In fact, I, the canceling began before I was even finished working with Misty. So let me tell you, this, this might make you happy. I've been completely canceled out of the profession of ballet, even before I was even in it. So one of the messages goes on to say, or a comment says that, you know, I don't teach in any ballet schools. This is true. I'm not associated with any company. This is true. I'm not in any way connected to the profession of ballet in America at all. I, I've been thoroughly, totally and completely canceled. I had my email hacked. I've had, you know, all kinds of issues on social media. Uh, things seem to have calmed down now. But you notice I don't, you don't see me working within the profession of ballet in this country. In fact, the people that come that I have recently been working with are from other countries. So bless them, right? 
and just if just so you can rejoice a little more over my canceling and there's kind of a dual point here so some of the comments basically say that i'm you know a nobody i'm not real i you know i don't have anything of value to offer who is this guy that kind of thing so there's that and then there's the fact that i was canceled now my point to both of those if i don't have anything of great value to offer why would i then be canceled at the highest level in ballet right something to question if i am not offering something of great value and unique why would i have been canceled to the extent that i was and by who i was canceled by and you know forgive me new york but um i was canceled initially by the current artistic director of abt probably also one of the directors at new york city ballet and then all the powers that be in ballet not just in america like in the west right so all the most powerful people in ballet made sure that i'm not working in ballet so obviously i have to have offered something of value or be somebody of some import for to be canceled at that level because if i was nobody and you know nobody would bother and in addition to that there wouldn't still be comment threads calling for my canceling so for those who wish for me to be canceled that's been done that was done a long time ago so you can rejoice in that thank you for the people who showed me love because people do get in there and defend me and uh for those uh people thank you so much my love to you and in general look um what i'm doing exactly as some of the comments state i've started an app and we're about to present a new curriculum new syllabus mainly for adult ballet dancers and frankly for everybody who has been rejected by the profession or, or ill-treated in some way and yes it, fo it it focuses on my family because they're here right i work i teach them every day exactly right in fact one of the comments kind of critic that was used as a criticism but to me it's a strength and why do i teach my family well for me mainly personally it's the sun's getting in it's mainly about their health and well-being and um so that's why i do it and i and we thought well if it's been so beneficial to their health well it's it'll be beneficial to everyone's health so let's share it with everybody so what i'm about is sharing this my new curriculum and syllabus and all of these wonderful things that i've learned over many many years of doing this with the world whoever wants it everybody will benefit from it including the profession including everybody in new york paris london everywhere in the world so i'm here for you and um but yeah rest assured i don't have any connection with the profession of ballet i haven't i haven't since whatever i was in new york years ago i don't talk about it i don't refer to their work i don't talk about dancers anymore I just do my own little thing and I'm very content doing it. If at some point the profession changes its mind and decides it wants to, to uh, talk to me about something, I'm a phone call away. It's no problem, we can get the band back together. But for now, I'm content doing this. And I think everybody in the profession is content doing what they're doing. They, as far as I can tell, they don't want anything from me. I'm not asking them for anything. I'm not criticizing them. I don't think they're criticizing me. I think we're fine. You know the world's a big neighborhood there's plenty of room for all of us to do our little thing and my thing's quite concise we're starting with an app and we'll see what happens so but everybody will benefit from our app and my work and uh i like to be liked if you like me i'm for sure gonna like you back if you don't that's okay that's okay but still come uh download the app and subscribe because it's going to be great for you wherever you are in the ballet world so love you all wish the best for you all and uh 
you know, send me an email, introduce yourself, and let's start to get to know each other.